everybody so today I'm just gonna do a get unready with me and give you a few tips for removing your makeup so the first thing is just to pin back your hair get it all out of the way so then what I like to do of course is to take off the lashes first of all to the side and then if you I do have eye makeup remover but I thought I'd just share this little tip and um, you can use olive oil it has can be extra virgin or just the normal one you can use that to remove your eye makeup and I don't recommend it all the time but if you were running short or you're at someone's house and they're not into makeup or whatever they might have some olive oil you can use and it helps just to break down mascara and eyeliner and just helps wipe it away that thick thicker maybe for your lips as well so then what I also like to do is I like using face cloths because I just think they're better for the environment than using a lot of cotton pads. You could have quite easily just put some of that in your hand and then wiped your eyes, um, which I've often done, just using the cotton pads for dramatic effect on YouTube. But I always like to wet my cloth first and I like to get rid of as much makeup as I can with just the water. Now water won't remove all the makeup off your skin. So water alone does not clean your skin, but it helps. So then I'm gonna go in and use the Garnier Cleansing Milk in the Rose. Um, I like the Rose and the Honey. They're my two favorite ones. I normally pick up whichever one is kind of on offer in Boots or Tesco's, if I'm honest. But they're my two favorite ones. I don't have a personal preference between the two of them and I just like to clean off my face. So this um, Get On Ready With Me is kind of what I would use for my day-to-day -day makeup, not where it's too heavy or anything. Um, and also sometimes I would use a cloth to do this, but a friend of mine, she does skincare, I'm gonna use the back of the one with the olive oil. She did skincare in college and she said to me that I should use a cock pad to remove um, cleansing milk so ever since she said that to me I've just done it because I've just kind of presumed she's an expert in it but I have ordered some off Amazon and when they come I'll share them on my Instagram reusable ones um, so it'd be handy if you can wash them in the sink and then let them dry overnight so that's the cleanser whether I wear makeup on a day I wear a lot of makeup no makeup I always do a second wash so I like to get my cloth ready only like two days ago I did the whole mask and exfoliation so expert skincare face wash I've been using this for just over two months and um, going on three months now and I absolutely love it the ingredients seem all right as well compared to a lot of other ones but yeah so I really like that one um, and it was only like 250 as well so circular motions all over your face try and get in between the nose it does irritate your eyes, so just be careful. That's why I like to use something to wipe away my eye makeup first and just kind of lightly around the eyes. But you shouldn't really be using this to wipe away your mascara or anything. And then get your cloth, because it's nice and ready. Already put under the warm water and just wipe away. Just another wipe all over. Or a splash of water, just can't do it on the camera, so I'm not going to do it. So like I said, this is just like a daily one because not every day you need to do a mask or you need to do an exfoliation. You don't need to be scrubbing your skin that much as often um, as you may think. Kind of twice a week for an exfoliation. Sometimes I do three times depending how many videos I've done or where, where I've been or what's been happening to my skin. Then I might do an extra one but because I just did two days ago, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to have to do it again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so just just don't think you need to be scrubbing your face every single day. You don't. You just need to wash away everything. So might be a little bit still in your hairline. So just make sure and get that because that's often where you can end up with a few little pimples is around the hairline, around the nose, and the lips. And um, so then, just the last step is Nivea Daily Essentials face cream. Probably even a little bit too much. 
I think you just used half of that, but I, I like this one because it has a lot of, it has a moisture base and it doesn't make you feel very refreshed as well. Um, eye cream, but I just ran out of my favourite eye cream, so I need to pick up some more, but I just wanted to record this video and eye cream isn't necessarily essential for everyone in my age, I'm only 23, so I mean, once you kind of hit 26, 27, months, then you should be using eye cream and all the special creams, but yeah, this is just a quick up. Quick it's just a quick and easy um, get, get on ready with me video just showing you basic how you should basic do your skin every single day if you don't want to use a cleanser and a wash I would say just use both twice and uh, just use either this twice or this one twice but I always think it's going to cost me the same to buy this two times or just buy this so I like to use both it just gives me a fresher feeling olive oil is just your tip of the day so use that to remove your eye makeup if you don't have anything with you or even if you're on like holidays somewhere you can always pick, get olive oil somewhere or in the restaurant or wherever you're staying or, or at a friend's house so yeah that's just quick easy and simple i did get the cleanser and the exfoliator goes with this and i love them both i don't use a cleanser as much because I just can't get get rid of this one. I just love it so much. I keep using it. Yeah, thank you so much for clicking into this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you have any little tips or anything, leave them below for someone to read and share love. Thank you.